What's going on everybody? It's your man Cleveland Terry. I got a question for you. You ever been in the middle of a super dope mix that you've been recording since the start of the party and then somebody comes and asks you for a song that you don't have? So you go to your local streaming services, your titles, your sound clouds, your beat sources, and you find the song and then you go to load it in. And then what happens? So today we're going to show you a workaround on how you can record your entire mix, streaming or not, without costing you a single dime, no external hardware needed, and we're going to be using just the tools that Serato and maybe your Mac or PC are already providing. Let's talk about it today on Just a Tip. This particular type of video called Just a Tip I haven't done a lot of as a matter of fact i think i've only done one or two the whole point of these is just to provide you with just the tip you keep these videos five minutes or less in out learn it go so that's what we're going to be doing here today okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to go into our gear setting located at the top right of serato and then we're going to head into the audio pane and where we want to go is right here make audio available to other applications now for most of you guys you probably haven't installed the iShow audio capture that's what we're going to have to do first. So head back over into this and click on this little link right here that says install. But we want to move all the way down to I show audio capture. Now we're talking about Mac, but we could also talk about PC. But for this video, we're talking about Mac only because that's what I'm using. But the same thing can be applied in PC. All right, now head down and you want to make sure that you install the right installer. If you're using Catalina, which is what I'm using, you need to go here. If you're using anything below that, that's where you click on the download installer. After you download it, you're gonna have a series of things that you're gonna need to do. So obviously you're gonna install like you normally do. It's gonna take you through the install process, but the most important part is here. It's going to tell you that the system extension is blocked. That is a security feature in Catalina that prevents malicious applications from being installed. So you have to hit OK, go through the process, and before you do anything else, you have to go back into your security and privacy settings and make sure that you allow for that particular application to work. Let's head back over to Serato and let's turn on make audio available in other applications. Now, this is the key. This is the most important part. So now at this point, you're going to need to have an additional app ready. So if you're using a Mac, uh, the cheapest, the easiest, the free app is GarageBand. But this can be done in anything that accepts an input. So that means GarageBand, Ableton, Logic, that means Pro Tools, anything that can accept an input, you're good to go. But we're gonna use GarageBand because we know everybody has that on their computer, makes it easy. So let's head over to GarageBand and let's open up a project. We're just gonna create one from start here. We're gonna head over to the GarageBand top and we're gonna change preferences. And where you see input device. Now under input devices, we're going to change input and we're gonna select the iShow audio capture card and then go into your input and select which track. Then we're gonna hit record and start playing our track. And it's just that simple. A couple of caveats, make sure that you're not overpowering the actual bus because then you're gonna get real distortion. It's gonna start acting a little weird. And make sure that you have a computer that can run both GarageBand or Ableton and Serato and your streaming stuff all from one computer. The weaker the computer, the more it's gonna struggle, the more artifacts you're potentially going to get. But if you needed a quick way to record your mix, like maybe you're just recording your mix to send to SoundCloud or MixCloud, this is a perfectly legit option. It's free, doesn't cost you a dime, no external hardware needed. You just get in, you just get out, and you're done. All right, guys, if you found this useful, hit that like button. If you found it really useful, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on the Instagrams and the Twitters. If you wanna make sure you're notified on all my videos, cause maybe YouTube's not doing it properly, get on my Discord located in the description. All right, guys, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace. <laughs>